Ambassador to Papua New Guinea's Solomon Islands and Vanuatu, Erin McKee, has announced that 2021 will be a year of progress in action for the embassy to work together with the government of Papua New Guinea to deliver services. She said the embassy strived to defeat the COVID-19 pandemic this year, further announcing a $57 million U.S. dollars USAID PNG Electrification Partnership, which will provide electricity to at least 200,000 households in the country. The U.S. Embassy Port Moresby team will work hand in hand with Australia, New Zealand, Japan, and Papua New Guinea to build on this promise of the 2018 APEC conference. The Electricity Partnership aims to provide reliable access to electricity to drive economic growth in communities throughout Papua New Guinea. The partnership is consistent with the National Electrification Rollout Plan. She also announced that the embassy will work closely with the PNG government to conclude three critical agreements, a defense cooperation agreement, a ship rider agreement, and a trade and investment framework agreement. The Defense Cooperation Agreement will lay the foundation for the United States to engage more deeply with the PNG Defense Force, expand training, education and exchange opportunities with the United States and execute on the joint Australian PNG project at Lombrum Naval Base to support the PNG Defence Force. Ship Rider is an agreement that allows members of the PNG Defence and law enforcement officers to embark on U.S. Coast Guards and U.S. Navy vessels to observe board and search vessels suspected of violating laws and regulations within the exclusive economic zones. While the trade and investment framework agreements will provide strategic frameworks and guiding principles for dialogue on trade and investment opportunities between the United States and other parties to the trade investment framework agreement.